Hey, hey, and welcome to the latest episode of Journey Through Maximum Doom. So this is Dark World 1. It was actually made by a father-son combo, and in the text file for this, they both give the notes on this. This is my first real level. My dad helped fix textures and the way it works. I'm going to be 11 in July. I hope to work on Doom 2 levels as soon as I find and learn a new editor. Meanwhile, the dad says this kid really did all this himself. I only helped debug and help a few times the safety copies got all hosed up. It is really cool having so much in common with my son. That is adorable. Unfortunately, the level itself is a bit of a dog's dinner and you'll see what I mean as we start playing through it, but it's fun to play through on some level. And since I'm putting this on the main YouTube channel for everyone to see, I just want to give a huge massive shout out to all the channel members who support this channel. You guys are amazing and I wouldn't be doing this without your support, so thank you, thank you so much. Let's dive into Dark World 1. So this is Dark World 1 and you can see we open into this very bricky rectangular room. I'm just going to point out that the key textures are misaligned there at the start and we're not going to bring it up again, I promise. But yeah, unfortunately, as we've seen in quite a lot of these videos, texture alignment is not something that was prevalent in the mid 1990s with Doom levels apparently. So we're going to come into here, grab all these goodies. There's not much else going on in this area. You may already be getting a sense of where this level is going to fall apart. And it has everything to do with the fact that every room is surrounded by these grey bricks. Ooh, some enemies up there. Let's have a quick look. Ooh, secret. I kind of guess there was a secret there because... Why would there not be a secret at the end of a little pathway like that? How do we get up there? I am curious. It does make you wonder. Oh, hello? So yeah, the, it, I'm going to assume it's going to be a case of just rubbing our face against the wall and hoping to find secrets. Wow, the teleporter was not aligned there properly. Really? That's it for the secret? Oh no, there's a secret teleporter here. Oh, I see. This brings us up here. Okay. There's nothing up here. <laughs> so, they, they made this area look really tempting. And then there's absolutely nothing up here. So... What a waste of time. What a waste of time. You can go back into the teleporter here, it seems. So there's actually no reason to come to this side of a level unless you're trying to kill all the enemies and get all the secrets. Okay, so where are we meant to go here? Oh. This secret behind here. I get the feeling that we're just going to bump into a lot of these secrets by just rubbing our face against the wall. It's kind of like a slightly more advanced Wolfenstein level, this. It's just like a lot of like rectangular corridors and not a lot of angular stuff going on. Oh, pinky. Secret down here? No secret down here. Oh, okay, so we've come into this, like, chamber here. There's a chain gun in the center there with a bunch of ammo. Okay, so I guess we're not meant to come this way. So, my advice to anyone making Doom levels, landmarks. Make sure you've got something memorable. Oh, hello. Oh, the water hurts. Lovely. What's the point in this secret, then? Okay, which way is, which way is out? Okay, that's not the way we came in, but it... Oh, it's a switch. Does that do anything in here? It does. It gives us a backpack full of ammo. 
Okay, so this level has some logical secrets. Secrets within secrets, even. Which is pretty interesting. You don't see that in every one of these. Hmm. Would have been a surprise there. Would have, would have had some enemies ambush me there. But, you know... I guess that's setting expectations a bit too high. So, thus far, I am somewhat lost. I'm kind of... Oh, hello. Okay. Hello? Where are you guys off to? Now, on most maps, I would never use the auto map. But on a map like this, where I'm getting lost and everything kind of looks the same, give me the auto map. Just give it to me now. We want to go into the blue door. There's really no reason to go back in this direction, is there? So I guess the question here is, what, what did that do? This is an unfortunate recurring issue with a lot of these early wads. For Ultimate Doom in particular, because that's what we've been doing thus far. It just kind of feels like a lot of these people just put switches down and then something happens way on the other side of the level and good luck finding it, especially in... Oh, okay, so I think it brought this down and it brought this wall down. Okay. I mean, so far, I'm not really kind of getting the dark vibes from the title here. That's the red door. With a bit of tidying up, what we've seen so far definitely isn't a terrible level. I just think more needs to be happening in this level. So, so I think at some point it opened up this little corner over here. But again, like my big problem is that most people would never wander over this far. Like, so by that you get you give up long before you got to find this place. And also, the cage there is not marked to stop the player running through it. Okay, so we've got pain floor there. How does that come? Oh, okay, it's a, it's a slow moving elevator. Excellent. There's also a lack of variety of enemies on this one. There's a lot of big rooms. I'd, I would have put a lot more monsters in this one, to be honest. Like, it kind of feels like the, the creator of this one was being very conservative with the monster placements. I would have gone more all out. Kind of feels a bit sort of boring when there's no traps or anything to really catch the player out and also i have to say a lot of that texture and that's not really helping anyone so that's the yellow key so i'm gonna guess that we're basically gonna be winding up here towards the end of the level i have to say like this is not the worst level we've played in this series but it may also be one of the more confusing ones because of just how ridiculously similar every room seems to look Uh, Kako Demon. Could have done with a few more of you in the level, not gonna lie. Is that the end of the level? Is it a fake exit? No, I don't I don't think going off this level, I don't think that this level designers got fake exits in them. I'm go not gonna lie. At least we got 100 percent kills. Almost all items. I would love to know what secrets I missed. Although knowing my luck, it was probably something I didn't rub my face up against. That was Dark World 1. Let's dive into the retrospective and review of this one. I think we've got a few things to say. So for me, Dark World 1 is fine. Like, compared to a lot of the levels we've played so far, at least this one kind of has a sense of cohesion in the sense that there is an actual ending and you can actually reach the ending. So, I mean, at this point, that is basically points on the board for this level. Unfortunately, the overuse of the brick texture and the same floor texture and the inability to provide any real challenge means that this one is a bit of a snooze fest, which is a bit of a shame really because I feel like as well it's a very flat level other than that one secret with the high elevated sort of platform that you had to use the teleports to get up to. I just think that this lacks any real interesting landmarks or anything like that and 
it's really up to you if you view this as a bad level or a good level but in my opinion a boring level is probably worse than a bad level because at least with a bad level you can be like this is bad this is bad but with this level i feel like a few too many safe options were chosen there's not enough traps the layouts can be very confusing at points but we can't be too critical because this was made by a 10 year old so it's better than a lot of the wads out there but that's not really saying much because the bar is pretty much in the ground for maximum doom but ultimately for me if i was going to give this a final grade probably would be around the four or five range because at least we can finish this one and at least there is a level to play through with monsters and doors that actually work so let me know what you thought of this one is this a level that you've ever played before what are your thoughts on it and let me know what your favorite level from maximum doom are and if you like this video and you want to see the rest of the series then yeah do join the channel membership because there are currently 14 episodes up for this series thank you thank you